Well, with a new year comes resolutions to go healthy. In this week's Legal Lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about what you need to know before agreeing to a gym membership. Andrea, when it comes to gym memberships, uh, what, what should people consider here? Well, remember that a gym membership is a contract. So even though it's for your gym, it is you uh, being promised the use of services and goods in exchange for the promise to pay. So like any contract, I tell people do not enter a contract lightly, gym memberships included. Any other tips or things to consider? Sure, just some things to be aware of. Um, you wanna know the terms of the contract you're entering how much you are owed, what services you are guaranteed, what the term of the contract will be, how long it'll last. Um, and then finally, you know, how you terminate that contract. Um, say you move or you do just decide you're not going to use it anymore, what is required to terminate it? And if you do reach a point where maybe that membership uh, just doesn't feel right, uh, what, what should you be aware of? Well, again, once check your contract, uh, see how it is that you have to give notice of termination. Oftentimes, it is in writing and it requires you to say specific things, uh, your intent to uh, quit your gym, gym membership or cancel your gym membership, uh, when you intend to uh, cancel it, and then oftentimes there's fees associated with the cancellation. Um, the last thing I would say be aware of is that if the fee is hefty, remember a lot of gyms do offer like price fee freezing or carryover months if you want to um, just freeze it temporarily, or they may even offer you to switch to a cheaper plan. Thank you, Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen. We appreciate the insight. You are welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. Well, you can catch The Legal Lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.